Uh, this is a B-25J. It was rebuilt out of Carl Scholz and uh, Tony Ritzman's Aero Trader out there in California doing my A-26. Roman Onimus and all these people were the original people that flew in the airplane back in the South Pacific. It obviously helped sink some ships, got a train. These are uh, actual aluminum gun packs. And if you look at just about everybody else that's out there that's on the circuit that's got these, they're made out of fiberglass. This was an original set. Coming back, we are starting to see the ammo boxes for the oxygen bottles for the two guys there. These are the ammo boxes for the 250 calibers in the back here. So we're basically coming back, and you can see this is the horizontal stabilizer spar here. So the horizontal stabilizer goes across there. They got two vertical fins with the rudders up there. You know, we've got some cables coming back here for the elevators and the rudders up on my knees crawling back here to check out oh my god here we go it's a little tighter than a 24 this is an emerson turret okay is that pretty cool or what as original as original can get just needs a little bit of cleanup Okay, there's the gun sight. Polish up that glass. That's a little spring on it. A little spring. Okay, here we go. So there's a heater control for this guy. Um, here come a little. That's a lever for something. I don't want to pull that for fear that something will fall off. It's another little cooler back there. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Okay, so there is the control system for the, the guns. So this is a dead man switch. You gotta have both down on each side, otherwise the guns won't operate. So you put that down there, and you basically rotate them back and forth this way, and then they would go back and forth this way for the elevation or the azimuth or whatever. And if you look up inside, you can kind of see. I can't really get the light back up in there. This is all, this is armor plate. So that's what that is. That, that, that's uh, like armor, armor plate right there. So they got everything, little knee pads. Okay, so let me see. Let me get my, sit on my bicycle seat here. Put my knees down there. That's pretty cool. Okay, armor plate. Got a gun sight. Turret switches on. Okay, that's how I would operate it. Some rusty bullets there. We haven't shot them in a while, so ATF doesn't take too kindly to these days. Okay, so here we are looking out the. Let me turn the light off just in case it's glaring there. So anyway, so that's looking out at the elevator, horizontal stabilizer, and the vertical fins over there. Yeah, at some point we got some glass we need to replace. This is all flat stuff, so that's pretty easy. Anyway. You can imagine this would probably be a reasonably bumpy ride if it was uh, really shaking around. Kind of look right down there. See, uh, see the feed uh, rollers there, right there, right there on the deal. So anyway, so that's that. Okay, so let's crawl back forward. Get my light going again. Here we go. Armor hadn't done a very good job. He needs to finish that up. I'm just saying. Just 
just as long as we're loading it down with some naked Jamaica rum. We use this for orange juice these days. I'm just saying. Naked in Jamaica. Anyway, oh, there's a. It almost looks like a wet. Oh, it is. It's a wet compass. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, coming back up the other way. Escape panel. Walking over our floor. Looking at this way. Pretty cool. Okay, we've pretty much seen this, so let's go. I'm not going to crawl up that way, I'm sorry. I'm having flashbacks of the Martin Mars getting up in the wing. Oh my freaking God. Oh God. Ugh. All right, we got some push pull things we don't want to mess with. There's the landing gear doors that go in and out. That's the flap jack right there, hooked up to that bell crank. Okay. Uh, that's the landing gear jack right there. Of course, there's the landing gear. Side of there on the stacks, how to hook up with the rear of the centers. Okay, so this 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 door opens up basically just like the uh, the other one. Now this is where it's going to get really cool. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to start off and we'll look around. That's how you get up to the front. So we'll crawl up through there. This is really tight there. That's a heater, ducts, a handle here. You don't want to pull on that. I think that's sort of the emergency. Laps or something like that. So some accumulators. See here, it folds down for the upper turret gunner. Okay, which clicks in right there. You need a new seat. Might be some warranty work on there. Anyway, so here we go. So we got ammo boxes for both sides. Um, got some armor plate here that. Uh, Folds forward. There we go. Imagine that. This is all that, that's, that's a real armor plate too. So that sits there and protects. I don't know if there's some on the back there. I don't know. Whatever. I've been a co-pilot option. I know anyway. So radios and stuff. Um, sorts of uh, radio, it's like ADF stuff or something, I don't know, some kind of radio stuff, World War II, we don't use that much anymore. Um, let's see what else we've got. I think that's World War II stuff there. Uh, the heater thing, like I said, that's the hydraulic uh, deal. These little things on the side here are for catching the shells. Got a little, uh, what do you call it, uh, fire extinguisher there. Oh yeah, so these are the only time. This is for, I think these go, you clip these out and they go up inside the bomb bay. And you can use them for loading the bombs up. So this is like really, really original. Things down here. Got, uh, de-icer. Emergency bomb door operation. 
Okay, so that's how you operate the Bendix turret. It's a Bendix turret. I'm sorry, not a Sperry. Okay, a Sperry's a ball turret. Yeah, it's a Bendix, and then the Martins were used on you know some of the other airplanes. Anyway, so there's that's where your feet go. Okay, let's look around here before we go up in the turret. Generator switches. Okay, we got fuel. Tank switches up over there. Again, more intercom stuff. I gotta reach up there to get there, but basically you can see, or you would crawl into the back through there. That is a pretty freaking out tight space. Um, okay, so basically, I have to disconnect the seat here. Again, I clipped it up. So I've got to drop it down. Some other stuff here, Astro Compass, it's probably a sextant, that looks like for the de-icers. Um, there's your ammo cans that hold the ammo, okay, and then here's your dead man switches over here, azimuth, and then rotating the turret. Of course, this one spins all the way around. We get up in here, uh, the little feed chutes going up to the the guns. Let me see if I can get up here without busting my butt. I'll tell you what, I'll just show you the view basically. So let me turn the light off. So here we are coming up. And that should basically be kind of the gun side right here. Okay. And of course, this turret spins all the way around. You wouldn't actually be looking out the side there unless you were trying to look for enemy airplanes or something, but basically that's uh, what you'd see. You could also, I don't know if you can see through there, but you can where the, uh, you know, you wouldn't want to shoot the tail off. Okay, so something there, I don't know what that is anyway. So your feet would sit in there, you would sit right there, and spin around like a carousel. Okay, before we go up into the cockpit, let's go up in the front. This is going to be... This is not going to be fun for me. That is so narrow. Oh my god, here we go. Okay, we are crawling up. My butt's already hitting the back of the thing and it's getting narrower. There's a small plate right there to swings into place. Okay. Oh, oh, my butt's stuck. Let's see, there's not an awful lot of room back there. Okay, so here's a little jump seat. So let's just sit in that little jump seat right here. Okay. much looking at the front. There's only one guy sat up here. So there you go. There's his uh, suit heat right there. Cabin air. Pretty cool. Not exactly air conditioning unless you're up high, but it's got air coming through here. Uh, here's the ammo cans for obviously a flexible gun. Uh, here's the ammo can for the fixed gun, which is right here. That's a firing solenoid. The P-51. Maybe even on this one, when you hit the switch, you know, these things actually click. Of course, the guns are not real or anything. They're just fake aluminum ones. Anyway. Ammo. All that kind of stuff. I don't know what these little things are here. For something. Um, goes out the deal. We got a Norton bomb site right here. Not quite sure how that works, but I know you look through that and just all sorts of little asthma things or whatever. There's a little seat right there. That looks like it might. I don't know if that pops out or not. It looks like it doesn't. Okay, so this over here for the bombardier, you've got the an altimeter, you've got airspeed, because he's got. He's got to know what all that stuff is uh, to basically, you know, adjust everything here, the speed of the airplane and whatever. Um, 
what do we got here? That's probably where he adjusts all that in here. This here is uh, for the bombs and everything. Well, the bombs obviously all drop out from bottom to top, okay? So the bottom ones drop out first, and it goes click, 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 click as it goes up. But you can actually space the bombs, and what the intervalometer does somewhere, I'm not sure if this is actually it, but that obviously looks like where all the potential bombs are on the racks, you yeah, know, because it's like, you know, going, going up the deal. So this would be the bottom of the airplane. That would be the bomb rack. And I think maybe they had some other racks on the side. But anyway, here's a salvo switch so you could dump them all out if you wanted to. Uh, like if you were over at, uh, you know, if like you had an emergency and you had to get everything, you know, out of there. You had to belly land the airplane or something like that. And, and you had to, you know, you just wanted to get rid of them. You could get rid of all the bombs that way. But you could adjust the timing of this so you could go. And it basically goes like click 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 you, you could probably set them up to go you know different combinations you could vary the interval of the speed that they drop because you may want to drop you know not you could salvo them and they go just basically all out at once bottom ones first um, but then you could also uh, set them up to where you could like click 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 on a path depending on your speed you know if you're like trying to blow up a runway or something like that you know the, that would all be taken into consideration um, air temp escape window right there to get out. Uh, got little uh, things up here where you can adjust the... Oh, that's for the gun right there, so that disconnects there. That disconnects there and allows this to be flexible right there. But there is, uh, you know, all this stuff was included. A little clip there missing off of something. But basically, you know, for, uh, you know, for sun and that kind of stuff. So, pretty cool. Sit back this way. See what we got. So that's the little seat there. This is all original freaking armor plate. That is not aluminum. That is the original McCoy there. And obviously, this thing here is set up to where, if this was all slid back, you could fold this piece of armor plate back to obviously get to the back of the instrument panel and all that stuff. So basically, with that in mind, let's see if we can get it back up to where we start. I do for my freaking YouTube followers. That's all what I'm saying, okay? Okay, so here we go. That emergency operation hydraulic controls hand pump uh, for, oh, brakes. Maybe that's for brakes, main landing gear. Oh, it's maybe different things. Brakes, normal, latch, whatever, anyway. Oxygen for the pilot and the co pilot. All sorts of little goodies. We saw all the radios. Some kind of handle there for something. Here's the emergency deal there. If you pull that, this whole hatch comes out so the pilot, the co-pilot can escape. That's a, a little thing there. The thing flips off right there. And a flare gun would stick up into there and you could shoot a flare out of there. And trust me, I don't know where it is, but I guarantee you the air trader put a flare gun in here somewhere. Yeah, a little thing for plugging in there for something. You see all the kind of the insulation stuff. Okay, so we're going to get up here, and I'm not sure where the back seat is. That's some more armor plate right there. Uh, there's a seat back that slides in here, but we're going to sit in the pilot seat. So let's get rid of that. That seat is not where it's supposed to be. So down here we've got rudder trim, aileron trim. Trim is going to be a wheel right here. Okay, that's an elevator trim. What else have we got? Uh, some kind of a dump for the hydraulic hand pump. This is a hydraulic hand pump, so you can help close the bomb doors, flaps up and down, you know, while you're on the ground. Let me get in the seat here. 
here. Get some fresh air. I remember. Here we go. That's how we open. Door should grab that little handle over there. Squeeze it. And come back. Okay. This right here actually is a gun camera, believe it or not. In case you're attacking a ship or a train. There's the little gun sight thing for the pilot. Fixed sight right there. If you look, I don't know if I'm looking at it exactly right, but basically right there. Tick, 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 tick. Okay. Um, okay, so over here we've got the fuel. Uh, right engine, left engine. You shut that off in case you have a fire. Or, you know, you leave it off when you before you you push it in uh, when you go fly, obviously. All sorts of early radio stuff here. Those are probably some self-destruct switches or something. Uh, that releases the uh, the last case of Naked in Jamaica run. In case you get into it's an emergency. Naked in Jamaica. Don't tell anybody it's on the live craft department. <laughs> okay, so anyway, down here... Uh, what do we got down here? Master bomb doors. Blah, blah, bomb. So, so the pilot can actually dump all this as well in case the, you know, the bombardiers in, are incapacitated or something up in the front. All the radio tuning things. That stuff there. Here we go. So he's got torpedo release. The guns. Uh, push to talk. This is the control lock here, so you can see the rudder pedals down there. Of course, they're tow brakes, so you push on them, they go back and forth. And uh, that's the control lock right there. And you can see that they're locked, so anyway. Um, coming up the panel, we've got the, uh, the landing gear deal here. So you actually flip this back, I believe push that down. I don't want to fuck with that. Anyway, that's down, so whatever. Wing flaps right here. Cow flaps. Of course, the cow flaps are out there. That left one is open, you can see. Okay. And you can actually close those with the hydraulic handle pump right here. So if I close those. Oh man, this thing is so freaking tight. moving a little bit maybe. Could have been that burrito I had for breakfast though. <laughs> Whatever. It doesn't appear to be working. I probably need some hydraulic fluid. Supercharger, carburetor heat, both engines. We got the throttles here, props, mixtures, uh, locking, you know, for locking stuff. Again, here's the trim. Here's your uh, red, green, amber lights for uh, you know, your identification lights. That's your elevator trim deal there. Um, let me see if I can undo the flight controls. There we go. Okay, so there we go. Now I can see what the hell we're looking at. Okay. Okay, so here is pretty much your electrical panel. We've got circuit breaker switches, there's your alarm bell, you know, everybody bang, bail out, or a couple of different rings might mean different things, uh, you know, position indicators, lights, batteries, pedo heat, pre-oil, uh, different things, torpedo director, that's pretty cool, uh, so here we got the uh, altimeter, airspeed, directional gyro, Turn and bank, ready to climb, 
artificial horizon. The PDI here is something that the bombardier sets up in the front. It's a pilot direction indicator. And as he basically sets up, he lines up with the target. Well, the pilot's job is to keep that centered. So it's lined up with the target because it doesn't do any good if he's trying to bomb something up there and the pilot's headed over this way. So that's what that's for. That's original piece of deal there, but I'm not sure. That's not an ILS. I'm not exactly sure what that is. I'm maybe kind of. They used to do like AN approaches. I don't think that's what that's for, but anyway, whatever. What compass up there? Uh, so we got the uh, suction gauge for the, uh, the instruments, you know, like these things for the gyros, radio compass. Uh, these are the feathering switches, left engine, right engine. Here we've got the mags, the master switch uh, has to be on for these to work. Okay, so that's the right engine, left engine. So you've got the right engine is off, left mag, right mag, both. So you would fly on both. And if for some reason you wanted to shut them all off really quickly, you could do that. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Recognition lights, yeah. So, there, so here you would click these down here, and then here, You'd flash out the code of the day, and I can't remember what SOS is. Dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, 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 maybe. I don't know. Something like that. It's been a long time. Uh, this is a aux uh, transfer pumps for fuel both sides, landing lights, boost pumps, starter primer. So this kind of stuff would be for starting. Over here, Copilot's got more of the engine instruments and stuff. We've got a ADF deal and you can kind of set it up and set the airplane up and fly there gun sight on off compass card okay so here so we got manifold pressure and you got right engine left engine tails so there's always two there so you basically you got your manifold pressure rpm so that's basically for uh running the engine you got oil pressure for and there's you see it split so left and right okay then you got fuel pressure left and right You've got uh, your cylinder head temp left and right, uh, uh, oil temp in centigrade left and right, carb left and right, free air temp, that's outside. Here's your, tells you how much fuel you've got in each uh, tanks, okay. Right hand rear, left hand rear, right hand front, left hand front. So obviously those uh, those three tanks per side out there, uh, some of them are, are connected. There's only four selected things there. That's fuel in the aux tanks, which would be in the in the Bombay, which we don't have. Uh, there's your uh, landing gear indicator flaps right there. Okay, brake pressure and hydraulic pressure. And then over here we've got some uh, a little bit later radios, VHF, ATC transponder uh, case of fire uh, they've got uh, feather the prop mixtures to idle cut so you'd feather the props here mixtures to idle cut off it says pull the fuel shut off valves which are over here okay uh, fire emergency or extinguisher switch on which would be these over here okay cow flaps quarter open which we would adjust uh, over here, okay, and we'd, we'd have hydraulic pressure, so we should be able to just adjust them. Ignition switches off, which is over here, just on the engine that you're shutting off, that would still be on. And then, uh, do not restart engine, okay, and then it gives you, a, there's some warning things here if you have a fire or not. And uh, there's, uh, there's also uh, there's some warning lights around if any of the crew runs out of naked in Jamaica run. Naked in Jamaica. So basically that's what's happening and that's the B-25. Uh, we had a lot of fun you know flying it, flew it back. Uh, we did one do little Raider reunion up in uh, Fresno, California when I first picked it up. We tried flying it to uh, Reno the year of 9-11. We landed at Paso Robles to see uh, Javier Arango's collection. 9-11 hit. We sat on the ground for a week because they shut all the flying down. Eventually, uh, we went uh, back, you know, a couple of months later and picked the airplane up and flew it back. 
That was pretty cool. Flew to Oshkosh, got reserve grand champion. And uh, I would love to get it flying again. But right now, I have got to create a successful freaking business. Uh, I've got the airplanes. I don't have to worry about that. And I've always got the potential, as you can see around my hangar, to get a whole lot more going. Stay tuned. Kermit Weeks, Kermit Cam. Over and out.